the concept behind the embeddable player was that we have a wonderful standard video player that plays on our site, but the question is, how do you find it? And unless somebody was going to navigate first MSNBC.com and then find video, this, they may not be able to discover the, the great video we have. So the concept behind the embeddable player was to be able to distribute our content out to the entire web and allow other sites to play our video on, on within their own pages on a somewhat uh, more limited basis than the full featured player we have on our site. It's been very, very successful. The uptake has been, uh, been huge and blogging sites particularly are, are very, uh, very interested in it and are, are leading the adoption of it. So we're, we're just extremely pleased with it. One of the problems that we had faced and another reason why we did it was that oftentimes people would put a clip from NBC News on, t on uh, uh, they would TiVo it and they put it on YouTube and then a blog would link to the YouTube clip which was really sort of a reheated version of, of what appeared on TV. So we're able to offer a video clip that came directly through the digital system and have, have it properly uh, cut and the quality is great and, and the audio is correct and, and, and all that. So it's just a better user experience for con and we get to control the content that was ours to begin with. A lot of things are working and that speaks to our view of the web that is it's not a one size fits all experience. So rather than create a single experience that we go out and evangelize as being the best, we want to create a variety of ex experiences that fit different contexts, different audiences, different situations. So our, our main video player allows you to view a, a selection of clips. You have a menu down the left hand side where you can pick from different topics. It loads very fast and you can uh, navigate through a tremendous number of clips in a hurry. Now that's great if you like to hunt around and, and be in control of the, your entire experience. But some people like to watch the rundown order of a show that they missed on TV. So in the case of Nightly News, you can just turn it on and watch it in its entirety with the addition of having some web, what we call web extras or web only clips that augment what you saw on TV. And so my wife is a huge Nightly News fan, always has been even before I had this job. And she's very disappointed they don't arrive home at, on time to, to watch it with her. So we end up going into my study and watching nightly news on the PC in the rundown order. And uh, she just likes it because I just put on full screen mode. She thinks she's watching TV. I keep pointing out to her that's a web only clip and she keeps asking why it matters. And I guess to her it doesn't. But you know, people like me actually pay attention to that stuff. Uh, another example is we just launched our gossip uh, and celebrity news uh, column called Scoop and its own stylized player. So that's a yet another experience. And so what we're doing is taking sort of the core technology of the video player and redeploying it in different presentations for different situations. We aren't running ads right now on the embeddable player, but it is something that we're evaluating. We think it's properly done. It's a good opportunity for us to be able to compensate ourselves for distributing that content out to others. Uh, when I say properly done, it can't be excessively long and, and take away from the experience that the people who are putting the embeddable player on their site are seeking. So if basically it becomes a Trojan horse for a whole bunch of ads, you know, then we, we failed. But I think there is a place to monetize it in a uh, uh, you know, tasteful and appropriate way.